What's up gamers, it's the same here. Today I'm gonna explain to you how you can max out the free-to-play trunk. Okay, so we just got the new update and basically we got some new characters, banners, events, all that. And right now I can show you exactly where you can get all of the Z power for trunks. Let's look at how much Z power trunks needs. I have him currently. I already did my bon bonus battle from his event today. So right now I have 6200 Z power. That means I need 3800 more. Yeah, so 3.8k more Z power. If you go into event and go into trunks event, if we look like here, it says eight times left. Okay, so that's gonna be the 800 Z power, and then we're just gonna need 3000 more to actually max them out. Well, now that we got new events, I'm gonna show you exactly where you can find this. In full power battle, this happened with the free to play God Goku and Vegeta. You go into the full power battle, and in full power battle, you have three stages normal, hard, and scream. Each of them give you a thousand Z power. With the 800s from the bonus battle, you can still do. That's 3,800 Z power, and that's how you max out trunks. Basically, this event you can complete it today, tomorrow, any day. Right now, you just have to complete every single stage, and you're gonna get the whole Z power. And then for the other 800, you're gonna have to wait the eight days. Basically, when you see this video, it's gonna be seven days left to do. So basically in a week you can max out your trunks if you complete the full power battle event and if you do every single day for the bonus battle on uh, trunks event. Oh, come on. F off. F off. Okay, so my laptop just decided to screw me over and it stopped the recording. Fortunately, it saved everything. I don't know where exactly it cut, but what I was saying was basically that you need to complete the full power battle event each stage and the trunks event for the next eight, seven days, and you're gonna max them out. Okay, the problem is that the full power battle event, it's pretty hard. So you're gonna need to actually be really careful when you play it, and you're actually gonna need pretty good characters. You ha we actually have some bonus battle characters, but one of them is the new LF, which probably most of people are not gonna have, especially if you wanna save for anniversary, you're not gonna summon for this, so there you have it. You can use Android 13, he's gonna get a Zenkai probably next week, so then he's gonna be more decent and suitable for this event. You can finish it next week as well, I think the event is here to stay for a longer time. The new EX tag unit, again if you don't summon on the banner you're not gonna have this unit. Find another EX green unit that you can use. I can show you a Zenkai one, if you have him Zenkai is pretty decent. And then the new free to play to trunks, this guy everyone should have, okay? So basically those are the battle bonus units. And here is gonna explain to you how you can play the event, but that's it for the new section. I just wanted to show you that you can get 3000 Z power from the full power battle event. Before you actually start playing the full power battle, you're gonna need to go into other status. And here at Comrade, you wanna change the units, or if you don't have any units, you wanna put some in the slot. Basically, those are the units you wanna use, or Android 13. So if you don't have uh, if you don't have the new tag unit, go to filter, go Android Red, and instead of those guys, put this guy. Free to play trunks, other people can use your trunks, and same goes for you. If people know how to equip those characters, you can use, use it from them, and they can use it from you, and that's good. Okay, so if you have the new X Gohan and trunks, use them. If not, try and use this unit, because he's Zenkai, his stats are pretty good. And yeah, I think he's the best green EX I personally have. I don't know if there's like any other that I would put up there. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that guy because he's a Zenka unit and he's gonna have a pretty decent stat spread. And then you wanna have a powerful opponent unit. And again, this Vegeta is boosted. So if you have him, use him. I'm showing right now what units I have, but basically you want to focus on four tags. 
use an Android tag, use a event exclusive tag, use an green EX and use a powerful opponent. That's everything I have up there. Confirm, now people can actually use my units when they go into the event. And once you're here, you're gonna see the normal stage. I can see there's a button to set comrades right here, so you don't have to go where I showed you first, you can just do it from here. Here you can see your battle bonus units. You obviously have the new unit, then you have some other androids. By the way, you can also use those two as, ca as uh, comrades. So if you don't have this first unit, you can set those two as comrades, because that way you're gonna help other people. For powerful opponent, you wanna set this Vegeta, if not, find another good powerful opponent. I think this guy is also a powerful opponent, so you can have both of them and actually have Android Tag and Android Powerful Opponent for anyone to use. This guy, apparently this guy is boosted, so you, if you don't have this guy, you can actually use this guy. So I'm gonna switch my EX right now, because I didn't know this guy was boosted. So basically go to Extreme and Green, and there you have it. He's only 6 stars, but hey man. He's boosted like hell, so that's good. Okay, so if you have this unit, use this one. If not, use this one. And if not, use the strongest DX green you have. And then as a free-to-play unit, you have these trunks. And in case you don't have the trunks, use this Goku. And basically, those. this is a list of options for you to choose your comrades and battle units as well. So the first condition to build your party is gonna be to use, you can see it up here, Android, okay? Obviously, you cannot use anything else but Androids in this slot. So I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna quickly build my team and be back. So I just build my team, I put my equipment, I put my support units. Basically, I'm not an Androids main in any way. I just have these units because I have them. And yeah, I, I built what I could with what I could, you know? So now, one thing left to do is to set a comrade. And this is why you actually want to set your own comrades so other people can use it. Same as I, right now I'm going to use other people's ca comrades. So let's see, I have my guild members, but apparently none of them has, I think none of them. We have an android here so far, but I see none of them actually swapped their, uh, their units yet. So that's not great for me. And that's my team right now. And basically with this one I can complete the first stage and then with the next stages there's gonna, you're gonna need to build a team for each stage because you need a different tag. Okay, so let's try and actually fight this one. Oh wait, okay. I'm gonna have to actually build four different teams for this event. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back, I built all my teams and I just realized something that you just build those teams once and then you you have all of these teams going to battle for each stage. Okay, so first off you got androids, then you got powerful opponent, extreme and green, and then you have free to play units. Basically, this is the lineup you wanna use. Of course, if you have the new EX tag unit, as I said, use that instead of this Goku. And I also realized something that for ca for your comrades, you don't have to set units that are actually boosted because they're not going into battle. You have to set units that can actually buff the units that go into battle. What I mean by that, basically, if you look right here for my Android tag, actually, as my comrade, I put D17 because he's actually buffing my main unit. So that's what you want to do for each team. For example, if it would load up. Okay, for example, on my second team, I actually put Zenkai Rose because he's actually Zenkai buffing my Vegeta. So right now, if we go into details and look down here at Zenkai buffs, I'm getting Zenkai buffs from my Zenkai Rose and I'm getting Zenkai buffs from the Zenkai Rose from my comrade. Here, I'm, unfortunately, I don't have anyone that has any green extreme in their comrades yet, so I cannot use it. And here, event exclusive, I put put a 14 star unit like uh, go like this Vegeta because he's gonna buff your trunks even more. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna also change my comrades right now. And I promise you this is the final change I'm gonna make to the comrades list. So first off, you wanna go to Android, Press OK, so basically find 
the Android that has like the biggest Z ability. For me, I think 17 is the best option because he's giving 35% to base strike and blast attack. It's either him or even this guy. Let me see if this guy buffs Android or just color. He's buffing red, but that's fine because he's an android and he's buffing red so that means you can actually throw them on the first batch of your team he's a great option if you have him 14 stars he's buffing 50% to base strike attack and defense and that's gonna help out a lot let me do it in order how it should be now for powerful opponent you actually want to put if you have the where the heck is that tag bro there you go so if you have the Zenkai Rose definitely put him up there he's gonna zenkai buff the red vegeta if people have him and i think that's a great option okay for the green ex i would actually go with this guy because he's buffing 35 percent to element green base blast attack and defense at six stars or higher so if you have this guy at six stars or higher use him he's pretty good okay and now let's see for the final one event exclusive okay here basically uh, the most recent ones, they, they all have similar Z abilities. So basically they buff event exclusive tag with up to 28%. So they don't go higher than 28%. And then they buff characters that are a certain tag. In my case, uh, I don't have anyone that would buff Trunks with a double buff except Trunks. Or use the Vegeta, this one, if you have him 14 stars because he's, bu he's double buffing, uh, I mean he's buffing your strike and blast attack with 20, 28%. I'm gonna keep Trunks because people that are actually using Trunks are gonna benefit from an extra buff besides that 26%. So I think this is gonna be my final lineup right now. I think this, uh, this is a decent uh, com comrade lineup for other people to use. And it's finally time to actually go into battle and see if we can finish this stage. Oh boy. Okay, so let me explain how this works. Basically it's co-op, but with multiple uh, units. Switch. Okay, so what you wanna do at some point, you're gonna get some special cards. You wanna keep those until the enemy does his like burst thingy. Same with the rising rush, don't use it when you get it, straight away. Ah, he vanished that. Okay. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to keep so you can have... Oh, here you have to avoid back and forth. I'm doing this so bad right now. I'm sorry. And now it's coming. So here you wanna use your rush. You wanna use the special cards if you have any. Just attack like crazy right here. Apparently the game is not giving me any special cards, which is fine. I mean, it's not really fine, but I think we can uh, we can manage right here because we have the rush. Okay, let me do two more cards and then I'm gonna rush. And hopefully that's gonna kill him. Let me switch again so I can get some more buffs. We should have enough buffs for this to kill. So let's go for it. When you do this, you actually wanna draw a Z on your screen. That shape right there. And then it's gonna basically give you the best uh, damage you can get. <sighs> come on, come on, please kill, please kill, come on. And remember, all my units are boosted units, so... Okay, I think, I think we did it. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're safe. I think we can, like, just finish him off right now. No, he's going for another one, bro. Come on, you just did one. Come on bro, he just did one. What is this, legend? And you don't even give me cards? Nah, I think we're dead, guys. Goku has died, so he's no good anymore. Oh, <sighs> yeah, we're not doing this. They didn't give me any special cards and... Oh, there's one, but it's a bit late, don't you think? Okay, so now I'm surprised we're not dead yet. Let's do this. Oh my god, I, I forgot how to play this, bro. <laughs> Took me by surprise. Okay, let's see, maybe we can still win this. Switch, kill, come on, if none of them dies... We can... Oh yes, we're getting another card in the rush. 
We got these boys. Okay, this one you have to tap like crazy. Ah, that's so bad. Ah, 34. Okay, that's decent enough. Okay, somehow we finished it. But it was pretty tough. Not gonna lie. So basically we had two of the special cards. We have the strike special card and the blast special card. I don't know how they're called. So basically when you get those you want to use them at the burst because the burst is like it's basically a shield that's really hard to beat. There you go. We got that a thousand zipper for trunks. So he's like one star extra which is good. But yeah basically that's what you want to do. You want to try and use those cards when the burst is happening plus the rush so you can actually defeat the shield. In the first stage it was not that bad but the the sage that's gonna come after the hard one is gonna be super hard to beat and unfortunately my my uh, Vegeta, my LF Vegeta is not actually, he's only 3 stars so he's not gonna do too good and this guy is only 6 stars for me so I'm not really extremely confident I can win that, this guy is 3 stars so yeah but I'm gonna try anyway, I'm not gonna do it now on camera because basically I just showed you what you need to do to build your teams so you have to build four different teams with support members with comrades you have to set your comrades use equipments for your teams use the boosted units that you have like they show you here battle bonus characters use those as much as possible and yeah just keep playing the event it's hard it's not meant to be easy it's a bit RNG dependent because it depends if you get those freaking cards or not. In my case, I only got them after I actually needed them. But yeah, you might get them beforehand. So try and keep those, keep those cards in the Rising Rush for when the burst is happening. And yeah, good luck. It's a hard event. And that's actually how you get all the Z-Power for Trunks. And once you finish all this full power battle stuff, your, your Trunks is gonna be like 13 stars. And then once you complete his fierce fight event you're gonna actually have him at 14 stars and yeah i think that's about it for this uh this video one last thing i wanted to say check yesterday's video should you summon it's a video for the new android 18 and 17 tag unit basically i'm talking about why you should not summon and skip that banner i took i'm taking my own advice I just did one single step at the end and yeah it was for just to spice up the video and I actually pulled them. So I think it's a pretty hype video to watch at least at the end and yeah thank you again for watching I hope this video helps. On my previous how to get trunks video I actually got a lot of questions asking how to max this guy out in order to get your chrono crystals. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So here you need to get trunks to 14 stars to actually get the 500 chrono crystals. To do that you need to complete the full power battle and you need to play his own event until you max him out. And that's it. You get the crystals, you get everything. And if you don't have this character yet, the trunks, and you have no idea how to get him, I'm gonna link the video at the end. If you don't have him yet, you have to play his event, but I explain everything in that video. So if you actually need to watch any of these two videos, they're gonna be at the end of the video. Make sure you click on any of them and watch all the way to the end to see what happens. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and yeah, I hope this helps. I'm gonna complete the full power battle myself. I hope you also do. Good luck to you, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace. Long video. I hope this is not 30 minutes, but if it is, I'm sorry. Bye.